My name is Dan Demers, Application Engineer at Quest Dehumidifiers. My job is primarily to help you, the food and pharmaceutical industry, apply our dehumidifiers to eliminate frost and moisture problems in your walk-in freezers, walk-in coolers, loading docks, all their small spaces. Now, the number one question that I'm asked is how do I route this ductwork? Where should I take the air from? Where should I deliver it? And that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we get going on placement of the ductwork, we need to understand how a duskin works. This is a duskin wheel. It's honeycomb material with silica gel applied to it. As the air blows through it, it absorbs the moisture from the air. To get the best performance out of this wheel, we want the most humid air possible so it can absorb the most moisture. So when we start looking at our walk-in cooler, our loading dock, whatever space we're trying to dry, we want to capture the most moisture possible with this wheel by looking for the ideal placement. When we start talking about routing the ductwork, you need to think, where's that moisture coming from? Is it coming from all the frozen product that's stored inside here? No. It's coming from out here, the warm, humid environment just outside this door. This is where it's coming from, and how does it get in? Every time we use it. In rushes the warm air, out comes the cold air, and now we've got moisture in there. Welcome to the inside of our walk-in freezer. The door is open and the warm air is rolling in. What's the best way to deal with it? Well, normally, that air is going to roll right across the surface of the ceiling and hopefully get captured in the coils on the back wall. But that doesn't always happen. Sometimes it cools off too quickly and forms frost in the ceiling. Sometimes it fills up the rest of the space. Sometimes the coil just doesn't have enough capacity to grab that frost. So we need to put in a desiccant dehumidifier. At Quest, what we recommend is capturing that moist air right here at the source. When the air rolls in, place your return air inlet right here to capture that moist air and carry it back to your desiccant. Welcome to the back of the walk-in freezer. Well, Okay, I'm sorry, this really isn't a walk-in freezer again. This is our environmental test chamber, and this is pretending to be your walk-in freezer, walk-in cooler, or loading dock evap. It is an evaporator, it's just not actually hooked to anything. How do we route that dry, warm air from our desk and dehumidifier? We don't want to put it someplace in the box where it's going to thaw our frozen food or desiccate our apples. We want to put it someplace where that heat's going to be captured, and what better place then at the inlet of our evaporator. Simply drop that warm, dry air behind the evaporator, send it through the evaporator, and let it pick up that heat. Now, we're delivering cool, dry air to the rest of this structure, and as an added bonus, we're gonna take some of the frost off this evaporator, thus extending the time before defrost, so we can keep the temperature regulated. What if the best place to capture your return air for the desiccant isn't at the door? For example, if you're making gel caps or some other process that was generating moisture within here. Now where do we want to capture the moisture? The best place to grab your moisture is right here at the outlet of the coil. It's saturated air coming out of here, so let's capture this, send it back to your desiccant, so that way you can remove the most moisture possible. If you have any questions about this material, you want to talk about meat raffles, ice fishing, or learn how to tip a cow, give us a call anytime.